Did he say everyone's got to be naked? And the road is partly collapsed. We've just seen two boar at the side of the road. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. We've spent the last four months exploring Turkey in our camper van, Sophia. Along with our two dogs, River and Scout, we're now making our way back into Europe along Turkey's west coast. Join us this week for one of the most fun-filled weeks of our trip so far as we team up with our good friends Philly and Keeley. Collapsed roads, wild boar encounters and a fully traditional Turkish hammam experience like no other. <laughs> Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. We've nicknamed this little dude Jumbo because he's like a jumbo sausage roll. You're a little chubster, aren't you? Hey? Hey? I don't think you're very old. Good morning, guys, and welcome back. We're in the exact same place as we left you last week. Yeah, we've had the place to ourselves for the past three days. But today we're heading off to go meet some of our friends who are also traveling through Turkey, Philly and Keeley. We've got some admin jobs to do before we meet them this morning. But apart from that, we have literally no idea what we're gonna do over the next few days. Not a clue. Philly and Keeley are a lot of fun and a little bit crazy. So I'm looking forward to see what the next few days holds. <laughs> really interesting getting out of here because there was a lot of rain and the road is partly collapsed. probably some of the worst roads that we've driven on. They're just like a patchwork of tarmac that's half sunk and half collapsed. So there's like, there's hundreds of potholes and it seems to be on only one half of the road at a time. So everyone's driving on the same side of the road that's okay. People are trying to overtake us. At the same time, people are coming towards us on the same side of the road. Yeah, it's just carnage. Well, that was a first. That's a first, yeah. Well, I was just about to say how easy it is to get LPG in Turkey. Because uh, a lot of the old cars run on LPG. It's at pretty much every single petrol station. And because they fill up for you, we normally just roll up, ask for LPG, fill us up, jobs are good. And couldn't be easier. That is the first place we've ever been where they won't fill us up because we're not driving on it. Yeah, how weird. That's not happened yet in the almost four months that we've been here. So he wanted to see documentation that we were driving with LPG. The last place that we had that happen was in Italy, but that is a big law in Italy that you're not allowed to fill up LPG unless you're driving with it across the whole of Italy. That was quite a bit of a pain actually, but we've not come across it yet in Turkey. So that was a first. Right, let's try this again. All good this time? Um, yeah. Yeah. There we go, we've got LPG. So yeah, Ben just takes out the little LPG adapter, gives it to the guy, and then he just fills up our LPG for us. It's honestly so easy. And like I said, that was the first time today they've ever had someone say no. Let me introduce you to Philly and Keeley, two Irish van lifers who live and travel full time in their camper van Martha. They've been traveling and climbing all around Europe from the summer heat waves in Spain to autumn in Serbia. They make beautiful and hilarious weekly YouTube videos of their adventures. Oh my God, quickly shut the windows. Oh, I've been stalked by my worst nightmare. Oui, oui, je m'appelle Baguette. So make sure you go and subscribe to them. They are some of the funniest people we know with the biggest hearts ever. We cannot wait to spend the next few days convoying with them. 
and the hog was coming for Ben and I grabbed the hog and had to rip it off Ben's back. <laughs> We made our way to a park up for the night, spending the afternoon catching up with each other. It's amazing how time disappears when you're busy chatting away with friends. And guys, now this is our security. <laughs> 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 Hello, Scouts. Go on, Viva. Ben just went to go and take the dogs out, and all we heard was this absolute mayhem going on outside and then Ben threw open the door and came running back in and there was a wild boar just outside and the dog was going absolutely crazy so Philly and Ben just went out so there there we were and the hog was coming for Ben and I grabbed the hog and had to rip it off Ben's back <laughs> it was it was pretty surreal and then we just kind of like shoot it away and it ran off <sighs> did you wrestle it we did you wrestle it I can say oh, it come off worse <laughs> how big was it what, what animal would you compare it to? Let's see if your comparisons are the same. Donkey. <laughs> a donkey, okay, that's close. A don <laughs> donkey and a horse. Are Did you say donkey? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, that's why I thought I'd jump Yeah, but, yeah, but Philly it said it's as big as a horse, yeah, and I was massive. laughing, and you said donkey. donkey. That's like... It's massive. It must be like that. Yeah, yeah. Big, no, actually. no that's way. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not that long. It's like the size of the biffer bins. Yeah, yeah, but that's not as long as the two two bloody cubs. But it was like the height of this as well. Yeah, it was huge. huge. That's why when it jumped out and it was there, I thought, I forgot it was a pony. And then I realised it wasn't. <laughs> it actually, and... it looked like Bigfoot. <laughs> 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 Honestly, it did. I'm going to go and put the uh, nighttime motion sensor camera outside. Wait. <laughs> no, Ben is gone. <laughs> we fed him to the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Ben. That means I get his share of the Turkish delight, though. Babe, um, GQ called. Yeah. Uh, they want you to set their next cover star. Don't blame them. What are those? What are those? These are because it's rocky down there. Yeah, we. I'm going to be wearing my sandals. So. There you go. I want to see your reaction. Oh. It's colder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I went up to look at my knees, so you got to go that far. I've got none. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is what peer pressure looks like. Just come a few more inches and then once you're whole ten and two more inches have disappeared. <laughs> We're back inside. That was exhilarating. <laughs> I think that was the right word. What do you say? Um, I would say it was barbaric. Barbaric, exhilarating. <laughs> no, it was good. I I've it. promised everyone a porridge breakfast, so that is what I'm cooking up now. I think we need it in this weather. Been a day of feasting. We had a big porridge feast this morning. It has been raining all day, and our Keely has cooked us up. I, I don't even know what I've cooked you. It's uh, spaghetti bolognese, only we didn't have spaghetti, so it's pasta that we stole from Cheska. Um, we didn't have bolognese, so it's just like vegetables and tomato. <laughs> <laughs> and garlic bread. That looks uh, so yeah, good. this garlic bread is the bomb, I have to say. This is a, I know it's it, a, a Keely special. Yeah. Mm. And to make it, just to make it better, he's got some hot sauce. Yeah, I'll have some hot sauce. Yes, come yeah. on. So tonight I learned something about Ben that I didn't know before, that he's never played cards against humanity. And Philly and Keely just happen to have the game in their van, so we're gonna pop your cherry tonight and we're gonna play it. 
Looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah. Of course we have it because we are crude and filthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's literally doing that. I'm not doing that. That's a good choice. Good choice. It's a little bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, do it! Yeah. <laughs> Father Christmas now gives the bad children... <laughs> this can't go in there, you do video! A pop- <laughs> <laughs> Yes, come on! Yes, I'm, I'm so, so good. <laughs> Thank you! So I think the plan today is to head to a market. There's one that's about a 45 minute drive away and I think it's like partly covered. So we're gonna head there today. Just fingers crossed we can get out of here all right because we've had a lot of rain in the night and it was already pretty flooded on the way in here. So it's gonna be interesting getting out. Ready Let's go! Well the vans handled that like absolute pros, there was no problems getting out of this muddy puddle thankfully. But before we head to the market we are running low on water so we're going to go to the water point and it's the only one we can see for miles and miles. So fingers crossed it's working. Yep. Yeah all good. We are all parked up in a shopping mall car park, ready to go to Cirque Market. It's apparently this indoor market, it's on every Wednesday. I haven't actually got the exact address for it. I know it's tw about 20 minutes away, so let's hope we can find it. <laughs> Philly and Keely have brought us to a place that they love called Comagini. Is that how you say it? I think so. Comagini. <laughs> it's basically like chick coffee, which is bulgur wheat and spices and stuff on a wrap filled with salad. So I'm very excited to try this. This is a chick coffee wrap. Let's see if it's worth the hype. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Nice. Really good. Mm. Refreshing. Just so fresh, like all the salad and then the coffee is just like... It's so like creamy, isn't mm. it? It's almost like it's all gone. a super savory hummus, but like Oh, that's amazing. The tangy pomegranate sauce and chilies. 11 lira. Wow. 60p. <laughs> How is the hunt for the market going? The hunt for the market is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it is not on. So I don't know if you can see on my phone, this is some pictures of the market. I don't know if you can make out what the building is like, but it's very, very, very similar to this one. I'm really sorry guys, I've dragged this round to Soke for no reason. We've got some exercise. We've got some exercise and we had a comagini for the first time which was amazing. We thought the market might have been closed for the winter, so instead we decided to have a walk around the unassuming town of Soke, a very real Turkish town buzzing with daily life. Welcome to Soke! Kilo lemons, kilo of oranges. Oh, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> we come inside to a little cafe to hide from the rain. The menus, I think they sprayed them with perfume. It smells very nice. Literally, when you open them, it's just like a waft of floral, floral perfume. <laughs> We are going to be leaving our shopping mall park up today. This place has been absolutely incredible. I'll put a link to it down in the description. But it's basically this huge camper van section in a big shopping mall car park right next to a supermarket with free water and free electricity. How amazing is that? Thank you so much, Turkey. This has been great. Well, the sun is shining finally. It's such a beautiful day today. We're going to go and head into the Dilek National Park. We can't actually sleep there overnight, which is why we're heading there this morning. We're going to have a little bit of a road trip. Dilek.
Kulek National Park feels like the land before time. Throughout history, this place has been mostly uninhabited and untouched by humans. 68,000 acres are covered in dense forest, home to rare birds, mammals and plants that are not found anywhere else. It's still uninhabited and people are banned from the park after dark, making this a special kind of wilderness. Within five minutes of being here, we get to experience this wildness firsthand. We've just seen two boar at the side of the road. Oh my goodness, I actually can't believe this. Look how close they are. They don't look real. I've never seen like we seen one the other day but it was super far away this was so close yeah you could see the eyes and you could see the fur they I didn't realize real. I didn't realize how furry they were yeah 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 like fluffy pigs so if you didn't know Philly and Keeley are pro climbers <laughs> I don't know if we're pro but okay <laughs> and there's a climbing route just up here so we're gonna go and check it out and it is the most beautiful walk through the woods yeah so glad the sun is out I just can't believe we saw wild boar I know so close they were so fluffy. Yeah, they looked so friendly. <laughs> yeah. With the tiniest little eyes. And they were actually, I think they came quite close because they couldn't smell us. And then as soon as they got a whiff of us, they just like bolted. They were like, oh, those dirty van lifers. <laughs> those dirty van lifers don't want to be near them. So it's not looking promising with the climbing unfortunately. So this rock is super beautiful and like really climbable but we hoped that there'd be sport climbing here that's when there's like bolts in the wall but it looks like this is all like trad climbing which means you need to bring your own gear and it's out of season so it's very wet here really overgrown yeah. so sadly it doesn't look like climbing's possible. This is overgrown. Yeah. <laughs> but we tried. We did try. We, we, we hiked did. for over an hour. We really did hike for a long time. Um, it's been a beautiful hike though. Yeah. It has been so beautiful. It is so lovely here. And the rock is just it's really beautiful too. Oh, Jessica, just feel it and pretend you're going to like do something. Like pretend you're going to get a wee climb. Stick your fingers in it. See how fun that would be to that, pull yourself up on. That, that is there. a nice rock. In, that yes. That is a nice rock. <laughs> as far as rocks go, you know, it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts. But where's the babies? Because they want to pass as well. Yeah, they're probably watching us. Yeah, there's some babies up there. Yeah, there. Oh. No way. That is that is amazing. It was the family of our boy. Wow, that was amazing. Oh, there's another wild boar. <gasps> We've just seen another family of wild boar. That's the third lot of wild boar we've seen today. And there were some tiny, tiny little babies with them. This little national park is, it, it feels so incredibly remote and protected. And like I said, it feels like we're in the middle of a rainforest almost. We had a windy lunch on the beach before making our way back to civilization, leaving Dilek National Park and as many wild boars in as pure a wilderness as you'll ever hope to find. We had no idea what was about to happen to us. About 10 minutes outside of the National Park, we found on Park for Night a traditional Turkish hammam and it had absolutely amazing reviews. So we've just rolled up. Apparently we can stay here overnight as well. The guy called Aladdin and his wife run it and they said, yeah, we could come and use the hammam, all four of us together. So we're gonna go and have a traditional Turkish hammam. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. The first step is to get changed into our swimmers. We've got this cool little private changing room. 
Okay, it's so nice and warm in here. Hello? I presume so. Did he say everyone's got to be naked? Well, yeah. I'm gonna be, yeah. so I just hope other people are too. But did it... I've got my swimming costume. Do I just like it take? I think we just take it off. But this towel barely covers my bum. I'm gonna put it on anyway. Oh, I can't be the only one naked, Jessica. No, if Philly's naked as well. And I am. Okay, so I'm in my swimming costume, but apparently the boys have been told to get naked, so this is gonna get interesting. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're now going into the sauna. Oh, yes. Ooh, baby, this is so amazing. What? I tell you what, after the freezing cold of the past couple of weeks, this is amazing to feel some heat on my body. Ooh, ooh, that was a hot, hot sauna. Get into. Wow. Oh, this. <laughs> so Ben is on a slab and he's being rubbed with some soapy water all over his body. <laughs> in this huge room, there's a big like marble slab in the center and we're just surrounded by little sinks along the outside. As you can hear, it's quite echoey in here. We're gonna be the best of friends. <laughs> How was that? That was amazing. I feel so so <laughs> so Lighter, fresher, really ridiculously clean. Oh, and, yeah. and we've all seen a lot of each other. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> we really have. Cheers. Cheers. We've been there for like nearly, nearly three hours, I think. I think we're in there for about three I think hours. Friends with Mary. After we'd got all. So basically, you just have a big. We had the sauna, then we had a big scrub down. And then we had like a suds massage, yes. which was amazing. And it was just so like surreal doing it in this huge like marble room on this giant slab <laughs> with your friends around you. <laughs> and now we've come out, we've got towels, we've got chai, we've got little cats. All in all, pretty Fantastic. amazing experience. Mm -hmm. My name is Aladdin. Aladdin, the best 
Best hammam in Turkey. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We'll put all the links in the description down below if you want to come here. Couldn't recommend it enough. Yes. Thank you. Big time. Thank we you. feel like new people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Are you ready? I am here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. See you next year. Yes. yes. See you next year. And on that note, guys, we're we'll leaving the video there for this week. We shall catch you next Sunday. See you later. Bye. So I'm officially. Keely's just come back from a wee with a nose flute, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> if you don't know what a nose flute is, it's this here contraption. Who's gonna play it? Me. Uh, so. Oh wait, wait, any requests? Any song requests? Oh, did you request? Um, I mean, okay. How about <laughs> Mamma Mia by ABBA? Okay. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> so I have to see if I remember how to blow out my nose and not doing my mouth. Okay. <laughs> 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 Ready, more? <laughs>